गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल आई एम प्रोफेसर नवनीत कौर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन फ्रॉम सागर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ रिसर्च एंड टेक्नोलॉजी कॉलेज टुडे आई बी डिस्कसिंग लैब प्रैक्टिकल्स ऑफ सब्जेक्ट डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग ई सी सिक्स जीरो वन न फर्स्ट आई एल शो द लिस्ट ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट्स इन विच आई हैव गिवन ऑल द टेन प्रैक्टिकल्स टुडे आई एल डिस्कस थर्ड प्रैक्टिकल write a matlab program to find and plot even and odd components of a signal in this practical the software used is the matlab software first i'll discuss the theory of this practical we know the even signal is the signal which has even symmetry with with respect to x y axis that is x of n is equal to x of minus n similarly the odd signal is the signal which has anti symmetry with respect to the y axis that is x of n is equal to minus of x of minus n now every signal is composed of even as well as odd component now if a signal xn is given then its even component is computed by the formula half of x of n plus x of minus n where x of minus n is the folded version of x of n similarly the odd component of signal is given by the formula half of x of n minus x of minus n where x of minus n is the folded version of x of n now first we will see the matlab code now for continuous time signal if i want to plot even an odd component i have to define the time a parameter which will be plotted along the x axis here t is taken from minus 1 to plus 1 with an interval of 0.0001 now i will take any signal say the signal is represented by x which is given by half into t plus 1 now in this graph i will plot first the graph of a particular signal now in the figure window i will draw three graphs so i have to divide my figure window in three rows and one column so for dividing the figure window i will use the command subplot 3 comma 1 comma 1 here the signal required will be accommodated in the first position so i have used 1 in the third position now for plotting i will use the command plot t comma x x label t and y label amplitude will be given for labeling the signal along x and y axis and the title will be given a given signal now for finding the folded version of the signal the matlab command used is flip lr so x1 is the folded version of signal x which is given by flip lr of x now according to the formula of even component xc it will be given by half into x plus x1 now for plotting the even component i will use the command subplot 3 comma 1 comma 2 this even component will be accommodated in the position 2 of the figure window now plot t comma xc and x label time y label xct and the title given will be the even component of a signal now similarly the odd component will be given by the formula half into x minus x1 subplot 3 comma 1 comma 3 plot t comma x0 and the x label will be time and y label will be x0 t and the title will be given the odd component of a signal now we will find the even and odd component of a discrete time signal now for discrete time signal the time parameter used is n and its range will be taken from minus 10 to plus 10 with an interval of 1 now according to the signal the expression is half into n plus 1 now i want to plot the given signal so subplot 3 comma 1 comma 1 stem n comma x now for labeling the signal x label n y label amplitude the title is a given signal now for finding the folded signal of the signal x1 is equal to flip lr of x 
Now the even component is given by the formula half into x plus x1. Now for plotting this even component, I will use the command subplot 3, 1, 2 stem n, xc. We know that the stem command is use, used for plotting the discrete time signal. Now x label time and y label will be xcn. The title will be the even component of a signal. Now for finding the odd component, the formula is half into x minus x1 where we know x1 is the folded version of the signal x. So for plotting subplot 3, 1, 3 stem n, x0 and x label time and y label is given x0 n. Now the title given will be the odd component of a signal. Now I will run this MATLAB program. The waveforms will be generated as given here. Now in case of continuous time signal, the signal is uh, drawn with the help of this waveform. The even component of a signal and the odd component of a signal are computed according to the formula which is used in MATLAB program and their graphs are shown in the figure window. Now similarly for discrete time signal, a given signal is represented by the first waveform and the even component of a signal is given by the second signal. And similarly, the odd component, when it is computed with the formula used in MATLAB command, it is given by the third signal. This is all for today. Thank you.